Okay, now, I'm going to talk to you about this one here, uh, toxic femininity. You ever heard that term before? <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, for people that haven't, I'm going to read you the exact definition here. It says here, toxic femininity is, as it is defined in context, is a term coined by male rights activists who have created an e equivalence between toxic masculinity and what they perceive as women using traditional feminine traits to get away with victimizing men. Now, the first thing I want to ask you, show, do you think that toxic femininity exists? Yes. And just by going over the definition that I read there, do you think that's a good way to describe it? <clears throat> let me, let me, let me, uh, spit back what i heard the definition uh -huh. and see if we're on the same page so basically it's a woman um taking advantage of her position her femininity to um belittle masculinity is that how i'm getting it like like uh, trying to run them get away with victimizing victimizing that was the word yes that that, that yeah. um uh, for example, yes. and I know we talked in these past few episodes, we've talked about Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith, and last week we talked about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. The yeah, Amber Heard thing example. comes to mind because um, she's one of those women that will, she'll push on him and push on him and push on him, and all he has to do is put his hands up to block it, not trying to hit her or anything, but if she hits her hand up against him, she will cry out, Oh, he hit me. He abused me. That kind of thing. And I know I'm probably like blowing it up, making it way more than no, it. You're, I'm using that as an example. Most of this is where the double-edged sword is. Um, you know, when you look at the, the comments on any post from this Johnny Depp, Amber Heard thing, mm -hmm. um, you know, anyone that says, you know, yes, girl, you did what you were supposed to do, blah, 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 blah. If you flipped the, what's being said, and it's the male versus the female, and the male was treating the female that way, he would be portrayed in every negative light that could be portrayed. You know, yes, he needs to go to jail. He needs, you know, he needs counseling, all this stuff. But when a woman does that, she's somehow in being empowering. And in this society, in this day and age, men like you and I, if we speak out on it, mm -hmm. we're wrong. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we're keeping the woman down. And that's not the case at all. Um, yes. But to answer your question in, in short form, yes, I agree that it exists and yes that definition is accurate okay so coming back around the corner on that what do you think we as a society can or at least should do to bring balance back i'm not saying we need more toxic masculinity that for sure we don't need but before this thing gets out of hand what can we do or should we do to stop this use common sense you know no different than it is is how do we stop racism you know use common sense you know that is uh, if you don't want a perfect be... answer unfortunately we live it's in a not society that is easily hurt quick to sue and demands justice for every little thing that goes wrong in their life not to mention most of the people that I mentioned in that are the kind of people that it's never their fault. It's always something or someone else. So yes, we got to get around that part. It's, you know, 
and I might get bashed from our millions of viewers <laughs> that that watch the show, but uh, you know, the Me Too movement is an accurate movement because there were more than multiple examples of men taking advantage of their power position in yes. a workspace towards the female. Mm -hmm. However, the Me Too movement overcorrected or overreacted to said problem. And now any woman can say, yes, that happened to me, even though it didn't. And I am speaking from experience from, you know, I've been a manager in a position for many years and mm -hmm. have been accused of said issues with the Me Too movement that were false and proven false in a court of law. But the fact that men, their, their reputation can be uh, just destroyed by just a simple accusation with no proof that is part of the problem as well that that also is a woman taking advantage of her feminine qualities to victimize a male in my opinion for whatever that's worth i agree with you one million percent not a hundred one million because <sighs> one agree for every follower <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so I'm going to pose a question okay. to all of our followers. Everybody listening to the show, everybody, um, whether you're on YouTube watching or on one of the um, platforms just listening to the podcast, drop us a comment and let us know exactly what you think about this. Are we right? Are we wrong? And if, if you disagree with us, not only tell us that you disagree with us, but tell us where we are wrong and what you think could be done to correct this. You know, because I'm one of those people that, how does that saying go? Don't just tell somebody that they're wrong. Show them how to get the right answer. Right. And I don't honestly think that there's, it, to this particular question, that there is a right or a wrong answer. You know, yeah. in my, I, I don't think there's, it, there's so many gray areas that it's not black and white. And, and it um, would be based on each individual experience. Exactly. And each individual action and what led up to said actions. Like, you know, I, I don't condone violence in any form, you know, men to women, women to men, um, especially men to women in, you know, said relationships, you know, i.e. Uh, physical abuse, um, that type of thing. I train women and men to defend themselves against any attack. However, if a woman was attacking me with a knife or a bat or something like that, I'm going to defend myself to the point of de-escalating the issue. If that means, you know, sweeping the leg and throwing her down on her back and taking the bat, so be it. That doesn't mean that I'm going to continue to beat her ass with the bat. You know, right. there is there is a stopping point. But the whole, you know, just let a... Because women will take advantage of this because men are trained, don't hit a female. You know, um, you know, they'll continue to just push, 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 and push. And then when the man has finally broke and he reacts, then he's the monster. Right. Which I think in the Johnny Depp, you know, situation, that's kind of, that's kind of how I'm reading it. Yeah, that's kind of how I'm reading it too. I mean, you're right. There, there's no right or, there's no good way to uh, handle this and collectively anyway, everything has to be based on its own individual situation. And you know, like and I like was you saying said, last week, I really, really believe that with all the evidence that we hear mounting up against Amber Heard in this Johnny Depp situation, that even in the end, because of the court of a pub, the court of a public opinion for our English speaking audience, the court of public of 
opinion, Johnny Depp is screwed no matter what. From here on out. Yeah. He from could win. Out, he could get that money from her. He is screwed. And, and that's and, and anyway. honestly, that goes back to what I was saying a while ago. Any male, no matter if you're you're in the public eye or not, once that one accusation is sent to you, your reputation is tarnished forever and it, it won't come back. There's always gonna be somebody going, Man, I bet you that's true, you know, whether it is or not, you know. Yeah. It, it's sad. Um <sighs> but if I that's quote, the world if we I live in, I don't King, why can't we just get along? <laughs> <laughs> that's the world we live in, and I don't see it changing, unfortunately.